Jsme to... Be careful that you don't become a woman. Amen. I'm very disappointed a lot. Huh? I've tried to marry, like to engage a lady, so I was disappointed. So the spirit came at night, I was dreaming like... You were dreaming what? To be, like, to be a gay. To be a gay. Yes. So that's why I said be careful that you don't become a woman. Because Amen. the spirit is following you. Yes, yes. Huh? at night, yes. I dream a lot. Sometimes you feel like you want to do masturbation. Yes, it's coming, but I, huh? I deny it, but it's coming. You deny it? Yeah. You are free. So, I want to ask my brother, maybe, maybe we can learn from them, because I was asking when I came to him. When I came to him, stand up. When I came to this brother, I say, I talk about the issue of being a woman. Yes, this is true. Uh, I was so surprised even like myself when uh, I see a woman, like I feel to vomit, different ladies. When I see just I feel to vomit. When, when you see a woman you want to vomit? Yes. When you see a man? Can you come again? When you see a man? Uh, when I see a man, like uh, I don't want to lie, but when I dream, I used to see like a man sleeping with me in dreams. You can hear that? Mm. This thing... Uh, I think... Uh, and he started how? I think we need to... Uh, yeah, you can ex wait for, go for it. Oh, yes. Uh, I had a dream like to get married. So then I've been disappointed. So now I started to lose trust from what? Uh, from ladies. So now I started to want... I wanted to give up because after I've been disappointed. So the Spirit told me that I should give up job. I should give up myself, kill myself. Or give up in women's. And being what? Because... Uh, uh, and date men's. In fact, why I'm coming to you, because I'm, it seems as if when Satan wants to attack us here, he will make us to admire people who are under attack. I'm sure you understand that. Satan, what he will do, he will make us to admire people who are also under attack and we don't know. You find that so you're admiring me, but I'm under attack. And, and you don't know I'm under attack, but you admire me. How can you just admire? You need to read the Bible. This is not Sodom and Gomorrah. What makes God to, to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah was the issue of a man marrying a man, a woman marrying a woman. I'm sure you understand that. So, so I just said I will come because this spirit, can you see what he's doing here? It is still here. It's inside here. I'll just say I'll come back and try to confront this spirit. You can look at my brother here. What makes a God to punish Sodom and Gomorrah? And I'm surprised. Our countries are beginning to accept Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm really surprised. And this thing starts by this. Satan will lift people so that you admire them. Because you cannot admire someone who doesn't have anything. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. You won't admire someone who doesn't have anything. You'll be surprised. People you are looking up to, they're the ones who are doing that. You people, you end up saying, it's nice. You end up saying, it's nice. Because you are, you are admiring them. Even the wrong they are doing, you, you, don't, you don't even reprimand it. It's nice. And you find people like this, they are possessed. God didn't make, he made a husband and what? He never said he made people between. Think about here in South Africa, one day, we have, we have got a restroom of men, isn't it? Do you go there in the restroom with your wife? No. There's a restroom of women, do you go there with your wife? Think about when there will be this restroom except of a man and a woman. What will happen? It's mixed up. And now our children, because our children need to be celebrities, they are admiring. You begin to admire. 
I, I think we need to pray. This, can you see it's a spirit? Look at that man. When I point at him, look at him. Look at that man when I point at him. Just point him. That spirit. You people, you are demiring. I want to tell you something. Your body. Can you see this body? This body. This body here is a body. It has got the spirit of a man inside. That's why this man is a man. So think about your body. You've got the spirit of a woman. You do something that, you know, I don't know. You know, ladies love to beat here. Yourself, you'll beat here and here. <laughs> it's like I'm seeing you. You, you, you will do things, you know, because you want to prove. <laughs> it's not true. You, women love to beat here. They do like this, like, like this. Yourself, you'll do like like, even when you turn, even when you turn, you know, one of the things is, look here, ladies, according to their shape, there's nothing that they move when they walk. It's natural. Yourself, you will move everything until <laughs> you, you will move, my God, until they carry you to hospital. <laughs> You'll faint. You'll break your spinal cord. <laughs> to woman is natural. What are you moving? Because the spirit inside you is a woman. So you want to prove a point now. And you're a man. Because if you walk like a man here and nothing is moving, so you are forced to move now. <laughs> Until you fall down. Listen to this demon. You say what? Why are you exposing me? Can because get... I wanted to block this boy long time ago. He's a prophet. So I urge Maganis Wambora. But listen to the accent. You hear? It's an accent of a woman now. Why listen. Me? Huh? Why are you exposing me? Because the people who are called like this useless boy, ah, I possess them. Some are singers, worshippers. I'm sure you're learning that. Oh. To, to be surprised, you find that talented people. And you now, you admire it. So now, the worst part, you are a woman. Inside you, there's a man now. And you, you, you want to make sure that when you walk, nothing must not shake. Because you're strong. And when you're walking now, you have to do like... <laughs> ah, this world is not my home. Because, listen, put a mic there. Oh, I can't lose this boy. God, I want to use him. So, what are you doing to him? Because, you know, I block ministry, business, marriage. He's an author, he's a worshipper, he's multi-talented, he's a poet. Ah, useless uh, boy. Now, now, now you know now. Because it's, when people are like that, oh, sometimes just boom. Oh, he's a great prophet. Oh, he's a, he's a, he's a, there are a lot of miracles. Oh. Once he can stay in truth, oh, God will use him. According to his scripture, as he said in his word, those yeah. who believe in me. Don't say, listen, uh, don't say I'm insulting, but I've just tried to show you the facts. I've just tried to show you the facts. I mean, the day you were born, the, the older people look at you and come to celebrate. And they say what? I mean, can you see how you insult old people? Because old people, they look at you, they take you close. They look at you, they say, hey, we have been given this. They even give you the name of showing you are like that. When you grow up now, you shame your parents. 
And listen, there are some parents, when, as long as you're giving them money, oh, everything is fine. They can't reprimand you. There's a parent, if you come and say, you, you just come one day, you, you beat you here. It's like I'm seeing you. Your, when you finish, you say, Mama, I bought you a car. You hear Mama say, oh, it's a bill. Your parent won't say, ask you a question again. Why are you coming with a skirt? Why nowadays we are better? Ntiyama, Baba, a bra here. I can do away. I mean, you, you are supposed, you are supposed to fight it when the child is young. Yeah. The Bible says, reprimand the child when he's what? When he grow up, he won't forget. Please go and look at yourself. Behave like the way you are created. Even when you are... Even when you are a wife, you will never enjoy to be a wife unless you submit to your husband. If you, you are able to say in your house, I said this and no one can say anything and you are a woman. My God, you are missing, you took the slice, only slice, one slice of bread, of a loaf of bread, you missed the whole loaf. If you are failing to say, let me one time kneel down to my husband, you won't, you won't understand what is the meaning of a husband. If you just say, you don't come you don't come wrong. Or today we appear when I appear when not today. You are missing a lot. You are missing it's not what you know people will criticize it, but it's not what we have been taught. That is why you find that in countries like America to divorce ah, to divorce is something else. You just say, uh, no, it, this is my third marriage. People say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know about marriage. You know about marriage. This is my fifth one. Oh, everybody's just clap hands for you. So Satan enter your house because of that. Who praying? Yes, yes. Yeah, you are listening, my God, and he's praying. Yes. Let's get another one who have got the same spirit. Yeah. Another one who got the spirit of a man. It's a woman. Can you come on? If you have a spirit of a man, also come out. I want to pray for you. Not long I found one pastor. Also, having a spirit of a woman. I was beginning to think, how is he going to preach? <laughs> I, was, I was looking at him. He came to me and see me one on one. I looked at him and said, this pastor. <laughs> I, began, if, I began to picture him when he's doing deliverance. I was, I was just like, Kamrasa Satan. Auntie me boots, Auntie me boots. Ah, Mama, things are tough. <laughs> I, Baba, I was, I was, he came to me and see me one on one. I look at him and say, hey. So, you're a pastor? He said, Yes. 
You're going to have a church. Say, say, hey. I began to look at the church when it's doing deliverance. Changing his voice. And he began to say, hey, I'm a pastor. Eh? I'm a pastor. Because you have to prove that you're a woman. A woman cannot prove she's a sir. I'm sure you understand that. So you have to prove now. I picture him. My heart was broken. Ara satanic, eh? Aunt, 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 aunt. <laughs> and from there. <laughs> I say out, who would eat? Who would eat? I say, my God. I just say, my God. Because it is the spirit that is in you. If you don't check, that the spirit dominates you. And do you know that Satan can promote you better? So that when you are there, you won't be able to change and come back. So you go to hell straight. Think about now one day when you say, now I'm no longer a... People will say, why? Because there have to be some people who have to copy you. It's as good as you, you're a pastor now. Think about when you say, sorry, Ceci, can I speak with you? You'll be surprised you are proposing your member. So you have to go, you understand? Because one day you'll be stopping someone and you don't know it's your member. He says, sorry, 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 sorry. And they say, eh? Pastor? And he began to say, you are beautiful. Pastor says, ah, eh? Can't you pastor? He's normally doing like this. Because it's the spirit in you that makes you to misbehave. And if you don't check now, you'll be surprised you are destroying yourself. You propose that member, the member will tell another, another one will tell. I'm sure you understand that. The church is closed. You are destroying yourself. If you don't maintain your character, you destroy your own self. God wants to take everyone far. But because, you know, we are not checking our own character, which is produced by the spirit that has been injected in us. It's as good as I've got a friend like this. I realize this friend is drinking. And I still keep the friend. One day, I'll be surprised I'm drinking. Nicely, I'll start with wine. Later, alcohol. Say, ah, it's 1.5. It's not too much. Okay, it's 2.3. You'll be telling people so that they understand. Yeah. Say, yeah, no, it's 4.5. One day, it's 100. You come to church with 100. And you look at the people, you see people doing like this. Like, <laughs> and you begin to preach, going like that. You know what? God is good. You know what? Hey! And people are saying, hey! Kanti is a hundred. <laughs> you people you don't know how Satan works. Satan has gone there, there. The day, the day you are told that this person is not a Christian, you won't believe. You find that you've got DVDs, you've got CD, you are learning from that person. Because you people, you cannot see beyond. You see people preaching, they say, hey, you know what? Hey, you know what? Mm, mm, bam. Hey. And you say, yes, come on, come on. Country, the person was not delivered. And this person, when he's home, he's drinking. You drink 2.5. It's promoted. The day when he's drunk is the day you talk about that message was powerful. Can't he is alcohol. You people here, if you want to be clean, you'll be able to find who's this person. You start by yourself. You don't start there. You start by yourself. You check yourself. Okay, why I become angry? There might be a wrong spirit here. Why I become angry when I'm offended? There might be a wrong spirit. You deal with yourself. 
The day when you're sitting like this, when somebody's talking, you say, no, they say, you'll be able to discern because you feel there's no connection. But if you are taking by motives, you are taking by, by spirit, even when somebody says, ah, you say, ah, and you don't know because you are not checking yourself. Start with yourself. If you want to overcome this spirit, you start with yourself. Why when someone visits, I cannot buy him cold drink? I make a tea. You start with yourself. Okay, I'm selfish. Okay, why when I hear someone correcting me, I become angry? It means I'm defensive. So you are able to check yourself, check yourself, check yourself, and deal with yourself. You stand like this. When someone says, hey, you know, you were wrong here, you say, hey, thank you very much. Hey, I wanted someone who can speak something like that. Now you become mature because you are allowing the spirit of correction in you. A spirit of correction, deal with the hidden spirit that is in you, that sometimes will show up sometimes and you are not aware. So that spirit, you can be able to keep it. Why when someone doesn't have money, when he speaks with me, I show him you don't have money. It's pride. Why when you are, when you are walking with a suit, you don't walk the same way when you are wearing bokat? You, you are dealing with yourself. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. So that's why you can overcome before you judge other people. Now when you are clean now, you'll be able to look at someone, go and say, you see that person? You see that one? You see that one? But if not, you fight everyone. Even those who want to correct you will fail to correct you. Stand up. Uh, greetings, Church. Uh, last time, like, I was sitting there, it was Wednesday. Uh, then, I don't know, Two weeks or three weeks back. I get seven weeks each period, but it turns out of it. So Apostle Makanis prophesied to me. Apostle of him prophesied. He told me that uh, be careful. Yeah. Let to come here. Yeah, you should not be a woman. Uros kata wabam sandi. Yes. Then he delivered me. Van tapele la ureke lukulu. Indeed, that prophecy I confirm it was true. Tawai la bam puri chengi ne literish. Yeah, after I've been like disappointed uh, by a lady, I started to lose confidence to be a man. Yes, now then like I was thinking even to buy like I don't know what you call high heels for ladies. Uh, I was not aware. Next Sunday morning. Yeah, then that I was doing a right, a wrong thing. Next Sunday morning, I'm doing something wrong. So, in abbreviation of my story, I can your code your story spaces cut one. So I was delivered because I used even to hate ladies, like feel like. Next Sunday, check it to me, Lord, to hear voices. Yeah, when I see a lady, like okay, I was attracted. I means we attracted, like when they look at me. But we didn't ever hook a lady. I ever let her alone. I, I was not attracted to the men's. So I thank the Lord since I'm delivered now, I, had, I have confidence to be a man. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, my brother is speaking here. I'm beginning to think how this comes that uh, uh, it also summarizes what we're talking about. Here. Outside you are a man, because, but the spirit of a woman enters you. See, when you go Christ, Christ, spirits won't enter you. Spirits, they enter because you are empty inside. Same applies to a woman uh, when you know, nice that you look at a woman, you feel it attracted. It's, because, it's not that. Because what makes you a woman is a spirit in you. Remember the Bible shows that Bible your body, body. this body of yours will end here. It's a soil. It's covering the spirit. Your body, this body 
is covering the spirit. And he took the shape of the spirit you have. It means the day you die, you see yourself the way you are. The way you are, you see yourself the way you are. You see your body there. You see yourself standing here. Because you are the spirit, you are not the body. I don't know if you are hearing me. So now, if in your spirit, there is no spirit of God, other spirits enter your spirit. I don't know if you hear me. Amen. And control your spirit. So if the spirit of woman enters you, and you are a man, no, buying, like my brother is saying, he was thinking about buying his, he wanted to walk tall like this. But he realized this is, this is delivered. I don't know if you hear that. Amen. So if you don't have Christ in you, the wrong spirit will enter you. You understand? And that spirit will control you. This spirit, that spirit, that spirit, that spirit. From there you find that you've got many spirits. You can't change your body. But the body of you is of a woman or of a man. But the spirit that has entered, it overpowers your own spirit. Because the Bible says we don't live for our own. Like when you have got the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God overpowers your own spirit. So you are, you are about to obey the Spirit. So now also you are supposed to obey the evil spirit. From there, you even do the wedding. And you are a man. Now the marriage is a man. You are marrying a man. And then here, you know, you are doing the wedding. They, you have to walk like a woman. So you are men. It's because you are overpowered by the Spirit. You are a woman. The Spirit in you also enters you. And you find that you are interested to ladies now. Do the wedding. Do the wedding. Do the word. You must act like a man. Even that one is overpowered. You are all overpowered. You are under Satan. And people are praising you. Your wedding is beautiful. But Satan is sitting on top of you. So you need Christ in you. So that you become one with him. There's some things you will never do in life. If Christ is in you, you will obey him only. I don't know if you hear me. Amen. But if not, spirit of anger enter you, control you, overpower you, spirit of lies. So spirits are controlling people. Many people here controlled by spirits. If you get, if you marry a wife who's controlled by the spirit of a man, she rule you. She will tell you, I don't want to see something like this again. And she speak with a base, I don't want to see something like this. <laughs> if you do it again. And yourself, you have got the spirit of a woman. You are answering, sorry, I will never do that again. <laughs> That's why they say divorce. People need deliverance. <laughs> I tell you, you need deliverance. <laughs> Think about that kind of confusion, Mama. Think about it. You know, people are being controlled by spirits. Think about it. Have you ever think about something like that? <laughs> Where the lady say, you must never do that again. Okay? If you do that, I will show you. And you, your husband with the spirit of a woman inside. I'm very sorry, I'll never do this again. You know I love you. I'm very sorry. The day one, the day when the husband found himself, that is a man here, and the woman is making, it's a serious fight, divorce come. Because the woman will just say, 
don't sit there. If you say, I'm sitting here. <laughs> so now you are two men. I think you become two men or two women. That's why now divorce comes. I'm praying that God must deliver you. Become yourself. Amen. You need to be proud of yourself. Amen. God bless you. Think about a brother wearing a legging. It's happening now. It's really happening. Wearing a legging. And, uh, and the parents are encouraging. See? Yeah. It's my child. Whoever here. Well, that's Satan. It's Satan. Satan wants the end to come very fast. You know what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah? It was like that. So now what Satan is doing is, if we attack many to be like that, God will come and judge everyone. Very soon here, you'll be surprised, the, the next toilets of those people now. A man is no longer a husband and a wife. They are this other kind. So, this is the, what can make God angry. And they say, no. These people, they don't want to repent. Let me destroy this. And also, the people who have got money, the devil will attack them to support those people. People who are supposed to be supporting gospel, they have to support this wrong thing. So that Jesus must come back. So that's what devil is doing now. He wants you people here to forget yourself. Not only in the issue of those kind of people, even the issue of your position in the house. If you want to make God angry, take the position of your husband or take the position of your wife. God will never bless that family. God is not there. But if God, you want to invite God here, yeah, be a wife. You understand? Be a wife, be a husband. Take your position. Because the stupidity of your husband is not something to show that you have preeminence to your husband. It's an ability that God has given you to lift your husband to another level. It's your assignment in the house. This, why are you there for? Where you can be aware of the stupidity of your husband and you hit your chest and say, my husband is stupid. Your assignment is to lift your husband to a level, that level where God wants you to be. Because you are the helper. What is the use of waking as a husband and your wife is suffering? It shows that you are lacking responsibility. So everybody have got its own responsibility. I'm praying that families in South Africa must stand in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm praying that God must raise strong families. Because Satan is looking at the families now. He's trying to do it like this. I don't know if you're hearing me. I don't know if you're hearing me.